So today we're going to be practicing applying the formulas for finding volume to figure out the volume of a rectangular prism. Uh, what we have is a fish tank that is filled 12 centimeters deep with water. The fish tank is 25 centimeters high and our job is to figure out how much water we would have to add to the fish tank to fill it full. The fish tank has a base area of 45 centimeters squared. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is to take one of the strategies that we've been practicing and use it to find the volume of the missing water in the tank, okay? Go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, what Anastasia did is she took the volume of, uh, the height of the volume of the water in the tank and subtracted it from the total volume of the tank uh, to find out the height of space left over, and then she multiplied that by the area of the base to find the volume of water it would take to fill the tank up to the top. Well, when I draw pictures, it helps me visualize um, what the problem is. Because that way, it looks a little more realistic and not just like numbers. I think that students uh, who struggled with some of the traditional algorithms in math and some of the um, single-minded approaches to solving problems have really benefited from Common Core because it allows for more opportunities to select solutions that uh, fit best with their learning styles and it's a higher uh, level of engagement across the board for all students. Idaho Core Standards, preparing every kid for success in college and in life. To learn more, visit IdahoCoreStandards.org.